Have you ever been playing a game, having fun, but thought, I wish this sword could have a fire effect, or I could change this armor to be a bit different, or I wish my character could, or I wish they had this in the game. I have something truly unique for you guys to check out today. In the words of one of the devs, imagine a truly multiplayer survival game where every playthrough is a new adventure in an ever-evolving world with new maps, new modes, and new mods. Welcome to Project Frontier. Let's dig in and stick to the end to find out how my community members can jump the line to get in so you can try this out first. Honestly, I almost find it challenging to explain what Project Frontier is because it is so many things. The new dev company, OCP, describes it as combining the survival of Valheim with co-op-like Helldivers. And I would say with the co-op game rounds of Fortnite, although longer, each session is about 30 to 45 minutes long. Then it also has this creative user game generation format similar to Roblox. It sounds like a lot to fit into one game, doesn't it? So taking survival games and inserting it into rounds of team games, it makes me think of how in Valheim we find ways to play a game within the game with our friends. You know how we come up with like battle arenas or how we did the Hunger Games with all the creators, but without the grind of Valheim. So you log into the game and team up together in groups of three, choosing whether you wanna be Vikings, pirates, or ninjas. For now, there will be more. Each session can have two to 10 teams on the map, and the map will adjust its size based on how many people are there at the time. Each team has an objective to complete for that session. You'll need to gather resources, craft gear, maybe build a base or outpost, but then you really focus on going into the world to interact with quests, NPCs, other players. Maybe you make an alliance with another team and y'all work together. As long as your goals align, sometimes they will and sometimes they won't, but you don't necessarily know the other team's goal or quest. So maybe you're working with another team because y'all are both trying to find Dracula, but then it turns out eventually that one team is trying to kill Dracula and the other team is to trying to rise Dracula from the dead. So what are these game rounds about? They're called myths. So for a couple examples, you could choose to play a round where it's basically capture the flag style. So you're building up defenses and setting out NPCs to guard while also trying to sneak and take out the other team's bases. Or you could do a myth round with the Frost King, where one team has the Frost King and teammates are his minions. The king has to be protected, but at the same time, you'll have to tag other players to turn them into Frost minions at the same time. I've played these kinds of myths in development and they are a lot of fun. But now here's where it gets really crazy. Remember how I asked if you ever wanted to change something about a game? Suppose we're playing Capture the Flag and I decide that I want something about my weapon to be different. Enter Creator Lab, powered by Unreal Engine. Creator Lab is an in-game interface that allows you to modify just about anything about the game that you want. You wanna change what that does, you wanna change how that looks, you wanna give something a fire effect, you wanna give a giant gun to a bear, <laughs> you can do that. And if you're not really a modder, that's okay. You can play the game as is, or you can stick to using Creator Lab in a simpler form by simply clicking buttons, which is what I would be doing in order to change settings on something. Or if you really wanna get into modding the game and are one of those serious modding types, then you can go right down to the code while still in game, then hit execute and poof, your changes are there. Got a great idea for a myth round? You can create your own quests, your own games that look like Project Frontier and integrate into it or end up being something totally different and put it out for others to play, just like with the Roblox platform. 
or combine parts of the Project Frontier creations with your own creations or with those of a friend. Project Frontier and Creator Lab were built for modding from the ground up. They're completely interconnected. Like I said, it's a lot to encompass in one game, but these devs have some serious veteran dev experience coming into this project, and OCP wants to take their experience with game development and love of modding and give the power to the players. This includes really including the players in the development process. They've been amazingly open with those of us working with them in pre-alpha, and now it's your turn. Project Frontier will be having a huge open play test starting in June, and you can apply at the link on the screen and in the pinned comment below. However, my community members get a chance to skip the line. Use the code that I have in the more description below this video, and the first 250 people will automatically be jumped to the front of the line and get accepted to the free play test automatically. I'll meet you there. Happy gaming!